my background is in economics, but I always felt like economists didn't really understand consumers and how people made decisions. They don't actually try to, which I've come to understand more recently, but I really thought that they had a lot of things wrong. And so I decided instead of going to get a PhD in economics, to go into marketing where I could blend economics with psychology, which has always been something that's been fascinating to me. I still do research that touches on economics. And so when I go to economics conferences, you know, they're like, oh, you're a marketing professor. And, you know, they immediately have this reaction, like, how could you possibly do that? And uh, my response to them is always, if it weren't for marketing, you wouldn't have anything to analyze as an economist because what would our economy be? That's right, I mean, people associate marketing with advertising and sales. So they often come in with this stereotype that they're gonna learn how to push products on people that they don't need. Like that's probably the, the number one uh, misperception that they have about marketing and marketers. Um, I'm sure that occurs in some cases, but the truth of the matter is you can't convince people in the long run to buy things that they don't need, that don't provide any value to them. So actually, if you think about that, that actually can't really be true. It's also the case that most CEOs of major companies have a marketing background. It's funny, people consider marketing to be sort of one of the softer subjects. And so when, compared to um, data analysis and decision making, which is mostly statistics, uh, finance, and accounting, marketing is a sort of sexier topic. Uh, but that's largely because I'm teaching it. There are other people who teach marketing in a more analytical way, and so it could be uh, as quantitative as you can imagine. I mean, you could have a marketing course that was purely statistics. But from my perspective, it doesn't necessarily help students to start off with that. I would say give it a try. People are often surprised when they start out with an introductory marketing course to understand all of the aspects of marketing. And so they have this image of madmen, you know, people sitting around in a room thinking of all these creative ideas. I mean, those are increasingly rare kinds of situations. We have lots of students that come in thinking they're interested in finance or accounting and switch over to marketing. Let's say they're very numbers oriented people. They find out that there's plenty within the marketing field to help them leverage those, those talents and skills that they have while they learn some other things, like maybe they are creative. I've got uh, several students that have gone into consulting, so they're working at the PWCs and Booz Allen and Hamiltons of the world. And that's really interesting because people tend not to utilize those kinds of firms for marketing per se, but they've gone into strategy positions because a marketing background really helps people develop a, a good base for understanding competitive strategy. I had a math anxiety as a young person, so I, which I, did, I just learned what that term meant recently, but really, really struggled with math. And my mother was a statistician, so it was really uh, interesting. She would, she had to help me with my math a lot. It wasn't until I started taking applied math and stats and started to learn why these techniques were important that I actually got over that and started to really uh, enjoy it. That also helped me learn that you never know uh, what you're going to end up doing and you'll never know what skills you're going to need later. My favorite part 
about teaching is interacting with students. That's the whole reason why the university environment has always appealed to me. Why consumers don't switch brands? What do you think? Are they just lazy? Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> MBA students in particular, they all come from these really, really interesting professional backgrounds. And so I learn a tremendous amount that I can bring back into the classroom from students.